Tracy Ellis Ross, daughter to legendary musician Diana Ross, has given her reasons for not regretting the decision she made not to get married and not to have kids. At 51 years, she has already hit menopause. Born on October 29, 1972, in Los Angeles, California, Tracy is the second of five children to Motown singer and actress Diana Ross and music business manager Robert Ellis Silberstein. Her father is Jewish and her mother is African-American and a Baptist. She adopted the name Tracy Ellis Ross, wishing to retain both of her parents' names. Tracy's siblings are celebrities too. They are Rhonda Ross, Chetney Lane Silberstein, Ross Arn Ness and musician Evan Ross. Though she has never been married, Tracy is said to have dated some entertainment heavyweights. They include rapper Nas, Henry Simmons, DeRay Davis, Chris Webber, and Kenya Barris. The only confirmed relationship she ever had was that with singer Akon's younger brother and Def Jam music manager Abu Boothiam. When Abu confirmed their breakup in 2016, everyone waited to hear from Tracy. She has never talked about it. This is how secretive she is. In fact, Abu praised her and said in a radio interview that Tracy was the best woman he had ever dated. About being married and having kids, Tracy Ellis Ross is of the view that we should not be prisoners of what the society feels is ideal. As is the norm, at a certain age, a woman is expected to have been married and with kids. In a podcast, she said, I was raised by society to dream of my wedding, but I wish I had been dreaming of my life. When asked in an interview by Marie Claire if she once dreamt of a life with a large family, Ross said, well, how could you not? Our society spoon feeds it to you, the blackish star said. I used to put myself to sleep dreaming of my wedding. And I would still love all of that, but what am I going to do, just sit around waiting? Shut up. I've got so many things to do. I've been single for a very long time. I have had many wonderful ins and outs of things, but no one stuck to the pan. Instead of feeling limited by her romantic solitude, Ross says being single granted her the ability to enrich her circle of love uniquely. As a result, I get to curate my family, my chosen family around me. And I don't think I realized the gift of that until I've started to get older. She struggled with the implication that being single and childless makes her a burden on her friends. Now she finds humor in the notion that her only purpose comes from her relation to a man or her ability to procreate. We go back to this model that you're sold, that not only are we sold it, but we are fed it and we have to drink it and it's everywhere. And if you're not careful, you actually think it's true. And it's the only bit of news for you. Which is that my job as a woman is to learn to be choosable. Having nothing to do with who I am, what makes my heart sing, floats my boat, makes me feel safe, makes me feel comfortable, makes me feel good, makes me feel powerful, makes me feel smart. Any of those things. But really it's more about how I might be seen, so that I might be chosen so that my life could mean something as a chosen woman who then gets to have a child and then be a mother and do that for a child, she said. Despite her mother's popularity, Tracy Ellis Rose worked so hard to be successful in her acting career. She began acting in independent films and variety series. From 2000 to 2008, Tracy played the starring role of Joan Clayton in the comedy series, Girlfriends, for which she received two NAACP Image Awards for Outstanding Actress in a Comedy Series. Miss Rose also has appeared in the films Hanging Up, 2000, ICU, Calm, 2006, and Daddy's Little Girls, 2007, before returning to television playing Dr. Carla Reed on the BET sitcom Reed Between the Lines. 2011, for which she received her third NAACP Image Award. From 2014 to 2022, Ross starred as Dr. Rainbow Johnson in the ABC comedy series Blackish. Her work on it has earned her six NAACP Image Awards and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress, Television Series, Musical, or Comedy. She has also received nominations for two Critics' Choice Television Awards and five Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. In 2019, she co-created a prequel spin-off of Blackish titled Mixedish. Stop. In 2020, she starred in and recorded the soundtrack album for the musical film The High Note. 
Besides, Tracy hosted the pop culture magazine The Dish on Lifetime. Tracy Ellis Ross has an estimated net worth of $16 million. During the first season of Blackish, Tracy's salary was $60,000. Her co star Anthony Anderson, who also served as a producer, earned $100,000 per episode in the first season. After syndication was locked in, Tracy's salary was increased to $200,000 per year. That works out to around $4.4 million per season. Ross is an entrepreneur, having created the hair care brand Pattern Beauty. Designed for black hair, it strives to offer hairstyling products, treatments, and accessories for every type of curly hair. The company is based in El Segundo, California. Her products are not only safe for curls, but aim to promote an environment that provides opportunities to black women and other women of color. As she told CNBC, her goal was to be more proactive about committing to having more diverse suppliers and vendors and what impact that has on inclusion in the complete business ecosystem. For roughly a decade, Tracy lived in her Los Angeles home, which she acquired for $910,000. She listed this home for sale in March 2022 for $2.3 million. In 2007, she paid $780,000 for a studio apartment in NYC's Tribeca neighborhood. She sold this unit in 2020 for $675,000. The Secret of Star's car collection is not known to the public, but when she test drove a Mercedes-Benz EQS, she liked it and described the experience like being carted on feathers by angels that have her on their shoulders. Tracy Ellis Ross is a brand ambassador for German car manufacturer Mercedes-Benz, and as such, she was involved in promoting their not-so-successful electric sedan. The flagship electric sedan features a dual electric motor setup, powerful enough to generate 649 horsepower. For an all-wheel drive setup, one of the motors is placed on the front axle, while the other sits on the rear one. Mercedes-Benz claims this electric sedan needs no more than 3.4 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, from a standstill. Feathers and angels, and all, it can drive as fast as 137 miles per hour, 220 kilometers per hour. The AMG EQS 53 4Matic Plus has a 107.8 kilowatt hour battery pack, giving it an estimated EPA range of 277 miles, 446 kilometers. To get this car, one would cough out $147,500 before options and taxes. Thank you so much for watching.